Hi, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People. Today we're going to feature uh, an old recipe from my grandmother. And from my mother is passed down and it's a raisin pie. Now this pie requires two pie crusts. So in a previous uh, video I've showed you how to prepare homemade pie crusts. So I've uh, prepared my two pie crusts for this pie okay and the ingredients for this will be a half a cup of sugar a teaspoon of vanilla extract a half a stick of butter a, a half a cup of sun-made raisins a teaspoon of nutmeg a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and this time on it I'm gonna try a, a little a, probably about a half a teaspoon of pumpkin uh, pie spice just because it's the uh, pumpkin time of the year harvest so this is what I'm gonna do I'll show you what I've prepared in the in a pot you put all your ingredients and then you fill up your pot with water just enough to cover your raisins and then you bring it to a boil a slow boil and then you add just a little lemon juice probably uh, I would say probably a teaspoon of lemon juice to this and then just stir it up stir these up Whoop. watch it when you stir it Okay. okay, you stir that up and you can see you cook it until your raisins is kind of puffy. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. So I would say within 20 minutes your raisin mixture will be just about finished. Okay, and I'll show you what's next after your raisins are done. Okay, now the raisins have been cooking for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna turn my fire down to low, well, medium low, okay? Now I wanna take one tablespoon of flour And cold water, use two tablespoons of cold water. Make it three, just to cover your flour. Okay, then you want to mix that up. Mix that all up real good. Because this is going to be your thickening. This will thicken your filling just a little bit. Okay. So you're mixing your cup of your tablespoon of flour into three tablespoons of cold water. See how that's. Because if you add that flour into that hot pot it'll make it lumpy so this is a trick I've learned from older cooks more mature cooks to always make your, your thickening on the side before you add it okay so now we're going to add that to our raisin okay as you can see the raisins are getting bigger so I'm going to take a little of that juice right there, if I can get it out, just a little, and put it into this bowl, and just stir it up, a little so we won't put this thickening in shock, just add a little of that warm raisin juice in there, okay. Now we're going to put that inside the pot. 
just gonna pour that in there and as you pour it in there be sure to stir it and this will be the last five minutes of your cooking of your raisins and it'll thicken See that it's, it's kind of thickening already. Okay. Just make sure you keep stirring it. Okay, that's beautiful. Perfect, because you don't want it too thick. Uh -oh. But that's about how thick you want it. Okay, this is a pie that, I mean, I've shared this with so many people. I've shared it with neighbors, co-workers, and they always request it when they come over for dinner. Since the COVID, you know, we haven't been able to gather together, so everybody's just having withdrawals for this raisin pie. But hopefully they're watching it and so maybe they'll start fixing the raisin pie themselves for the holiday. Okay? So that's about how thick I want it. So I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to transfer this filling over to my pie crust that's ready. Okay, I've poured it into my pie crust that I've already prepared. And you can spread it around just a little bit so your raisins won't be all in one spot. Now sometime when I fix this during the holidays, I may add apples to it or uh, peaches. You can get creative with it. If you just don't want raisins by itself, apples are delicious with it. Okay. And that's how it'll look when you put it into that perfect pie crust. Okay. Now I'm going to put my pie crust, top pie crust, on top of this one. Okay, remember how I told you to put it over the pie crust halfway. And then fold it back. And then you start pinching your sides. You should get your pie crust over there. Go around and pinch your sides. Get it overlap. Pinch it. Pull it up. Pinch it. Pinch it. And then you just do that all the way around. And this pie is very rewarding. So it may take you a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. Okay, as I said, you add that and you peach around. Then you just kind of trim the sides of it to make sure you don't have no overhang. Because it'll usually drop in your oven if you're not careful. And you just fix it however you want. Some are better than others at this decorating part. But uh, this is the gist of it though. You just kind of decorate your, your edges around. And then you want to poke your inside of your pie to release any air while it's cooking. Okay, and then I'll sprinkle just a little sugar, sprinkle just a little sugar on top of your pie crust. And then you can place this on a cookie sheet, so if in case it bubbles, it don't get all on your oven. But it's ready to bake at uh, 350 in your oven. And bake it until your crust is lightly browned. And I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, 
Here's your raisin pie. After one hour of baking, this is your final product. And when it cools, I'll cut it and, sh and plate it, and I'll be back. Okay, this is your final product. And I'm getting ready to eat a slice of pie. Here's the pie. And it looks delicious. And you can also serve it with vanilla ice cream. When it comes out the oven, it'll melt just a scoop of ice cream on top. It's awesome. Okay, my husband is coming in for the gusto. I'll check with you later. Love, love. May I have some pie? It's good.